In the previous video, we created a basic business card. If you click on Open Existing Project and the Label File, you'll now see the preview you saved earlier. Click Open. This card can be improved dramatically, but first we need to cover a few more tools. Click on Print Preview. Notice only one of ten cards is printed. Normally you would print a whole sheet. To do so, click Close and make ten copies. Select Card 1. Under the Copy tab, click ten times. Print Preview, and the Avery Sheet is full. Click Close. Let's add the navigation shortcuts under View Toolbars. Click on Navigation. And here you see the navigation icons. Welcome screen, pre-designed template, project wizard, clip art gallery, insert image from file. As you have seen, the welcome screen takes you back to the opening design pro window. The project wizard should look familiar. It's the same path we followed before only we started at the welcome screen. The same is true for pre-designed template. As you can see, we have templates for several types of labels. From binder inserts to table of contents. Let's pick the business card we used earlier. Notice we have a master tab and a card one tab. What's the logic? The concept is to put all the data that doesn't change on the master because it appears on all the cards. For example, a real estate company could have several agents, so create a master that has everything except the individual agent's unique data. The Kern Real Estate card illustrates this concept. The master has the common data which can be changed only on the master. Card 1 has Judy Kern's unique data, which can only be edited on Card 1. If we click the Print Preview, we see the whole Avery Sheet is filled with Judy Kern's business cards. So how would we create a sheet for Bob Edwards, a co-worker? Click Close then card one and edit Judy Kern's data fields as necessary. So change the name to Bob Edwards. You have to spell it correctly. His phone number ends in a four and his email would be Bob Edwards. Normally you would save this project. Let's click Print Preview and you notice all the cards now 
are Bob Edwards business cards. Let's click close. If I click window, I see two cards. You can have more than one project open at a time. How would you create four business cards for Bob Edwards and four business cards for Judy Kern? If I highlight the card one tab, I can make a new tab and a copy tab. New tab, copy tab. If you click on new tab, you will always get a copy of the master. If you click on copy tab, you will always get a copy of the card tab you have highlighted. I'll delete the cards I created. To create four business cards for Bob Edwards and Judy Kern, highlight card one and click copy tab four times. Card five is highlighted, so edit in Judy Kern's data. Put this back to a three. Card 5 is highlighted, the one we're on. Click Copy Tab three more times. Click Print Preview. Now you see four Bob Edwards and four Judy Kearns business cards. Next I'll demonstrate how to create more professional looking business cards from scratch.